Hello folks and welcome back to Cycle 666 here in Oxygen Not Included. Saturdays and I've been uh, a little bit busy but nothing you haven't seen before. Uh, got most of the stuff built. Uh, actually I think I have everything built pretty much for this thing to work. Uh, except for the fact we don't have any steam in there and I was heating this thing up. Uh, that's, that's bad. <laughs> we gotta get some water in there. And, uh, and then close it off. Uh, how am I even going to get water in there? Did I even think about that? Of course not. Of course not. I thought I was done. Uh, I think what I'll do is take out a liquid pipe sensor. Toss it down there and we'll, we'll go ahead with that. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to get going because this thing is going to start doing its thing in 19.8 cycles. Set that back to auto. Yeah, this is pulled vacuum, which is nice. We can actually get rid of that pump entirely. Uh, what else has been going on beyond that? Not much. Um, little minor expansion to the water. And uh, I have been basically, I, I stopped allowing, um, stopped allowing output from these things. Uh, and we have been feeding the the who's or what's it? these guys the thimble read uh because uh yeah i i just wanted to <laughs> it seemed like the best thing to do with it we're gonna build up quite the supply of reed fiber at least a thousand units should hold us for a while and then i'll probably tear this down again uh, i had to put in a space heater in temporarily because they were just that little bit shy of 22 degrees that they need so, yeah, we'll probably have to pulse it on at some point again, uh, which is fine. I mean, that's what the heater is for. This is all cleared out, which is great. Uh, I took the output of the, the who's a what's it, the, the toilets here that comes through here through the, uh, the sieve, the filter thing, comes over here and then it shoots back down to this, uh, this reservoir set up. Of course, we have some more in here now. And uh, I think we're filling... No, we're not quite filling that one. This one's almost full. I say almost. It's got like another 11,000 kilograms to go. Uh, so we're pretty good on that kind of storage. The water that comes out of this facility here, which of course includes this other steamer down here, um, is being collected as well into this area. We have new printables available. How about some rust? Sounds good to me. I had a look at uh, our our chef over here and there's nothing here that I see that is in particularly short supply. Lead is one thing, but we never had much to begin with, so what do you do? Is that literally the only rust we have? That can't be. What, wh why would that be? Maybe it is. Maybe we just haven't mined any out from anywhere and that is the first rust we've had. That would be very strange though. Huh, anyways. I have also begun collecting up all of the various junk along the bottom of the map now. Made a start on it anyways, so this is just chock-a-block full of bits little bits that's uh gonna take a long time to move but hey it's it's doing it it's there um i also added the chain destruction mod because it just seemed to make sense to me i think i'm gonna leave that guy there which is partly why i haven't gotten rid of him i don't know is that does that seem mean he's just he's just there he's idle he's wild he's laid an egg I don't know, it's like a little grub grub colony just on one tile. I think I'll, I'll, I'll let him down. We'll mine that out and then we'll get rid of these these ladders. So I'll show you what the chain destruction mod is all about. It's pretty straightforward. We can get rid of uh, some of those tiles as well. So yeah, just, just some puttering more or less has been happening. We got still got tons of food, more food than we know what to do with. 91,000 kilocal of surf and turf. Uh, still 140,000 barbecue. 
So the fish seems to be lagging behind the barbecue, but that's okay. Uh, this thing has gone dormant. Next activity in 47 and a half cycles. And uh, how much? We have 147.8 kilograms per tile over 20 tiles. Uh, so we should be good. We should be able to cook with that for quite a long time. But uh, I vacuumed it out and then sealed it in. Um, when you're above 1,000 grams, I don't know, like uh, when you're above 400 grams, then I'll let that turn on. But uh, as this works now, it should only ever have natural gas in there uh, until I go and do something like change out some tiles, which I had meant to do. There we go. Block some of the heat transfer. Uh, what else was I doing? Kind of... Oh yeah, I dug out a little bit here to let some of this coldness from, uh... Oh yes, the lag. The lag is real. From the uranium area. I want it to kind of affect this area because we're going to go down and get this petrified fossil. The germs are gone from there, but... There are tons of zombie spores in the soil. Which just seems weird to me, but okay. We'll deal with that. Uh, I don't need that ladder anymore. Or that ladder. Or that ladder. So we'll get rid of those. And maybe we'll, uh, we'll go straight down here. And get at this petrified fossil. Because it'd be nice to find out what the last one is. I think it's cool enough. I mean, it's 600 degrees, but it's... Relatively speaking, still cool enough, I think, that we can get guys in suits down there. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to let this kind of share its heat with this cold zone. Because why not? Here you go, Twisted Soul. Digging away like a boss, as you do. Uh, so, I'm not sure if this is uh, better or worse in FPS. It's certainly not worse. Um, but, uh, you know, like, sitting still, I'm hitting about 30 FPS. I think that is is getting a little higher than it used to be. Um, and then there's even more I can do. Like, there's no reason they can't walk along the bottom, right? So... We'll cut that back to there, and then at least we can still get over to the ATN if we need it. Um, that's a thought to, to use some of this water. We really do have a lot of water. He is getting getting some more hydrogen production on the go. But I guess until I really need it, I won't bother. I'm just thinking like we could burn it for more energy. Uh are we ever backing up? We have 143 kilograms of stored hydrogen. I think I have finally found equilibrium. So setting this to 425 grams for the hydrogen vacuum, and these are 350, 350, 350, uh, is allowing the electrolyzers... Oh, you can still see it pulsed over pressure, but it's so fast. Maybe we'll do 300. And for you, 275. For you, 375. I want these guys just never overpressuring, but it doesn't seem to distribute that fast. Uh, what I could do in the future is build this facility again, just space out the electrolyzers a little bit. Allow a little more space for things to, to disperse. Because uh, that's what happens. They go over pressure and then they're not running all the time. And it seems to have thrown off the math for that long anyways, but... Um, now we're at a point where it's actually backing up and storing hydrogen gas, which is great. I mean, all that's being done with that gas is it's being used as a backup source. Like, we have the active feed of hydrogen and then a backup feed of hydrogen just coming from the reservoir. If we want to change that and store hydrogen for some purpose, question mark, I don't know what purpose that would be yet, we can do that just by severing the pipe. 
Uh, otherwise, yeah, just trying to get the gases cleaned up. You can see we have a nice layer of polluted oxygen again. Uh, that's going to continue, at least until we get this side of the map cleaned up. And all the slime biomes are gone. And all the polluted water is collected. I think we'll turn these back on now. Polluted water. But uh, on the upside, we got two gas pumps down here that are attached to this Atmos sensor. And every time it goes above 300 grams, they turn on for a brief time. And that's helping keep the gases down on the lowest level. So yeah, that's what's happening. Um, whoa, yes, this thing. Let's get some water in there. This is going to be quite the thing, actually. Because we're going to have to put a lot of water in there. A lot of water. Is there a line we can use? Not really. Um, well, I could... Actually, I could, in theory, pump water out of here. Connect it there. Uh, no, wait, I would, I would reuse this line. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this bridge. Pretty sure there's a pipe under there somewhere that I'm gonna have to empty as well. But we'll bring this over and then hook it up to there. All the way up to... There, we put in two more pipes. We can uh, kind of do a little trickery here. Okay, so this was this was not necessary. Go ahead, throw that Atmos sensor back in. Please and thank you very much. Uh, am, have I been making them at a profit this whole time? Yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as they don't actually melt, like the metal doesn't melt, it's okay. It's so funny, it just, to me, every time I look at it, it looks like there's carbon dioxide in there, but of course not. It is a vacuum. Uh, and the vacuum pipes, or the ventilation pipes, can be removed. Interestingly, we actually have kind of ended up with too much cooling again. This thing is barely running. Uh, it's... How hot down there? 127, 8 degrees. Because uh, we don't have enough water in here to cool it. We don't have the aluminum on the go. And we don't have anything else providing heat. So it may be, especially when this has got... Uh, wait a minute. Oh, it's idle. It, it is erupting actually now. So that'll, that'll come up. It's just a matter of time. And I did change the uh, the path of that to try and cool this liquid up here is it even working it is it is actually working so we'll let it continue what it was doing there because it didn't it hadn't exploded and the liquid coming through is at 45 degrees okay that's a start. So yeah, the molten aluminum, when it has liquid going through, is cooling down, and that's just what I want. In fact, that, as soon as it seems to turn into a solid, it uh, seems to be way more effective. I, I don't quite understand it. That's good, because we had practically run out of aluminum, because I started replacing heavy watt conductive wire in this part of the base. And uh, yeah, we're going to need a lot of aluminum. Or my god, are we going to need a lot of aluminum? Alright, so I'm going to connect those around there. Call this back to here. Uh... That was what I was afraid of, actually, was that. 
I need to be able to see what's happening there. Go ahead and vacuum that out of there, please. Well, how is that there? And why? Oh well, it's stuck there forever now. Forever! Never to be touched again. I have been considering changing the output of the bathroom to come to this, um... This water sieve, and then we could expand this room into another proper ranch. Uh, cause that's the thing we could do. Instead of moving all the ranches, we could just keep all the hatch ranches in one place. I don't know, I'm still trying to mentally process, like, you know how your subconscious works through problems, right? I'm kind of hoping that's happening with uh, how to set up the base again at a certain point. Uh, let's remove all of that because it's unnecessary. Part of, part of the idea here is you remove paths that are redundant, um, just not serving a purpose at the moment. If we need to rebuild them, we can rebuild them, but for now, it's the less pathing they have to calculate, the better. And places like here, I've left it so they can pick up materials that have dropped. I've done a little bit of filling on the sides, but same here. There's a, a ladder going out to where they have some materials. And um, yeah, we'll just carry on with the plan. TM. Registered trademark. All right, are we ready to hook up that water yet? Hello, my dupes. Okay, so your water is going to come out here and it is not going to feed back through. That was for when we primed it. You're going to come up here all the way up and over here and drop down into there. Uh, we need to vacuum all this crap out of here. I need to not forget that. Priority 9, please. And then we'll build the walls, build the walls, and we're done. Let's double check. We have automation uh, for those guys. It is set at 20 degrees. And uh, yeah, so we have the straight through path that goes back around and reloads the loop. Uh, if it's too warm. And then we've got our bypass, bypass, bypass. What is this tile back here? That is not supposed to be aluminum. Nope. Nope, nope. Get replaced, dude. That would, uh, that would not work out well. <laughs> That's a severe inefficiency in the whole setup. Uh, okay, so someone should come along and fix that before too long. Let's see if we can run at speed 2 for a little bit here. Yeah, G Hondo doesn't seem to be like pausing between little jobs there. We'll sweep that stuff away too. I think we may have may have actually improved game performance. I mean, doing all the things that they say should improve game performance. Improving game performance should not be a surprise, but here we are. I think it's working. Probably helps that I'm not, like, watching YouTube videos in the background while I'm puttering here. Uh, so the PC's just kind of dedicated to OBS and the game. And that is good. Okay, we got 810 kilograms stored in there. Uh... Yeah, sorry, I just got freaked out thinking there was clean water gonna come and ruin my supply, but this is this is part of the plan. Ah, uh, yes, of course, because I already heated it up to a stupid amount. <laughs> can I please just can I get a win on this one, please? Please, game. Okay, you gotta sweep that out, and then we gotta build some tiles here, dudes. There we go. Good, good, good. We're ready to rock. 
ready to rock wall. Totally. Yeah, we made a little bit of steam, but hey, hey this is no big deal. It's actually returned to vacuum. Now, so it just cooled down the stuff in there. We're good. Legons can stay here and build the wall. Beautiful. The vacuum restored itself. I'm amazed. We build those and, and we're done. Now we're going to need... I don't know, like... Uh, the other ones are based off of... Like this one is... 150 to 200 kilograms per tile. Uh, this one is... 100 kilograms a tile, roughly. Like 110, 115. I can't tell a difference in how they operate. I don't think there is one. So I may even just try this one on much less liquid. Um, in fact, I'm going to go cut it back off at the source. And let that carry on up, which is a fair amount of water, but it's fine. I just want to empty the pipe. And then we're ready to cycle it. I think we can go ahead and enable these buildings. We could probably let this thing run. Uh, is there anything else around here we want to activate? Uh, chlorine gas vent? Not really. So there's no other cooling I need to do around here. It, there really isn't. Unless I want to double up on cooling the water, which I don't. Don't want to have another massive pipeline going down there. This one, in fact, I would like to delete. But if we need more, more water in there, then it would be stupid to get rid of it now. So that's going to end up being, I think, around 100 kilograms of tile anyways. So it's, it's fine. It's going to work just fine. There we go. We're full. Connect that back to there. Connect that to there. And this thing will just go and cool the machines and cool down this area until... I don't know, until the, the, the water's not cool anymore. It's sitting at 20 degrees, so it should pick up a little bit of heat. It's only 22 degrees in here, so... Not a whole lot. I did a mix of, uh, what is it? Oh, obsidian tile? No, no, the liquid pipe is wolframite. I did a mix of wolframite and steel to transfer. Uh, and I don't know if I'm going to come to regret that, but that's why I'm starting it off super small. And we'll tweak it up over time. And hopefully run a pretty efficient um, iron... Uh, bloomery, let's call it. Let's call it a bloomery. It's an iron volcano, but you know what I mean. And it doesn't go off for another 17.4 cycles. So. Uh, let's have a look here. Maybe I should just cool down the outside for funsies. No. It's, it's, not, it's not hot here. It's 21 degrees. This is part of the things. We're a little ahead of our time here. And that's okay. Something's done before time is is not a like it's not a complaint. It's it's good. We're not a, a just on time delivery service after all. Things should be planned out, you would think. Alright, uh what am I gonna do with this stuff? This I was Digging this crap out and turning it all into just a straight up big, big water collection area. This one, in fact, I'm, I'm still worried it's going to overflow. Uh, your idle uh, next dormancy is in 20 cycles. I think that'll fill up. I need to figure out what to do with this water. And I have a feeling we just... Uh, we just dump it in here. Up to a certain level, anyways.
and that'll keep our our water reservoir topped off. We're gonna be able to reach that stuff, don't we? Do 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 do. So musical. Uh, I do want a little bit of water left on the bottom, so I don't know if I regret that later, but we'll see. Okay, that'll go up there. You're gonna need probably that extra ladder. Yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing going at speed two here. No one is standing around really looking at their feet for too long. Could be could be better, but uh, it's not it's not horrible. I think this is all ready to go here. So if we take this whole thing, which represents a path we just don't need there, this one as well. Then what we should see, at some point anyways, because they're going to be busy working on that pipeline at Priority 9, is someone will eventually come over here and just hit one tile and then they'll all go poof and uh, all of our crap will end up down here. It's probably about time we got into this guy as well. That natural gas generator. Time for a sip of coffee. Hope you're having a wonderful day. How? What is the priority on this? Three. I guess that makes sense. Three being our new base priority. Where are you guys going? I don't know. There we go. That's that line. Oof. Just like so. Uh, yeah, I kind of kind of biffed that one, didn't I? That's fine. We'll just dig that out. We'll put a ladder there so we can remove this ladder. Because smart. I should have left it. I should have left it be until I was done doing what I was doing. I just wasn't really paying attention. It's fine. Twisted Soul is going to save us from ourselves. Here you go. We could... I could actually remove all these just to drop, drop the junk down. I think that's a good idea. And then we'll just rebuild the tiles. There we go. Thank you, Legon. New printables available? Has it been that long already? Pufflet eggs or fungal spore. We'll take the eggs and we'll probably crack them because I have no desire to have puffs flying around. They're already doing it. Good. Puff ranching is just not on our list of to-dos. Alright, that finally got deconstructed and we'll just put a little platform under it again. Just in case we need to get back at it. Which reminds me... Yes! We're getting very close here. Uh, we've managed to dig ourselves into a bit of a pickle here. So we'll get that done. You know, I, I want this done for this episode, so... Priority 9. Including the excavation. That's the beauty map. Yeah, no germs. No germs in there. This used to be full of nasty, nasty spores. Ah, uh, yeah, Jace, you're taking a little while there, so maybe it is time to go back to speed one for a bit. Where are you going? Going to build? You can you can go right here. You can build right here. No, okay. 
It's because Legon was already on the job. These things happen. Should probably get some of this diamond while we're down here. The lead, I'm less interested in. Considering we're going to have so much iron and aluminum is already kind of our jam. Uh, but diamonds is super useful. So we'll go ahead and mine out the top of that and then carve down again. We'll check. No germs over there. No germs here. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to, to checking out this final petrified fossil, which is super nice. Uh, we had a little bit of the crude oil flash off to petroleum. And then some... Uh, that's hydrogen. We didn't get sour gas. So that's good. Our poor guy just died, didn't he? Yep. Poor little thing. Uh, was it too hot for him or something? I, I don't know. Ellie's here. Just delivering a little stuff. Yeah, it's just back and forth, non-stop dupes delivering and, uh... Yeah, picking up meat and stuff. We're almost there. Oh, dude, we got some meteor showers. That's fun. Keep on digging. Get it, get it released, please. Very good, very good. All right, we should see someone come down and excavate that pretty quickly. I would think. Oh, bye, guys. Okay, bye. Jace is here, doing the work. It's good. I'd like to see that. Uh, Legon, Twisted Soul, coming back to do more digging, I would imagine, as well. Okay, so we're getting the diamond, but I need this. I need this looked at. Please, game. Ken has science do, or whoever it is does that. Hey, never mind. It's Nisbet. Yes, it's the artists that do it. She's starting to chip away. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Hey, fossil data decoded. Let's get away from that sound. It's horrible. We need to, uh, we need to give them the rest of the job. Fossil data coded. It appears that this creature's DNA was once used as a kind of genetic storage unit. We know that, but... Ancient specimen, first counter, organism, design notes... <laughs> Resettlement launch party... What are we missing? Unauthorized activity. Employees are advised that removing organisms from the bioengineering lab without an approved requisition form is strictly prohibited. Gravitas projects are not designed to be ridden for sport. Injuries sustained during unsanctioned activities are not eligible for coverage under corporate health benefits. Please find a comprehensive summary of company regulations attached. There's undiscovered. There's more to it. What do we do? What do we do now? Ancient spec. Oh, okay. Oh, story trait complete. Ancient specimen. My duplicates have meticulously reassembled as much of the giant critter's scattered remains as they could find. Their efforts have unearthed a seemingly bottomless fossil quarry beneath the largest fragments dig site. Their efforts, uh, never mind, uh, nestled among the topmost bones was a handcrafted critter collar. It's too large to have belonged to any species traditionally categorized as companion animals. Activate fossil quarry. A critter collar, and we got a fossil quarry. Which we can just make fossil? Oh, ingredients. It requires some diamond. And we get fossil. Okay, well that's that's super handy and cool. Uh, but we're not going to use it right now because we don't need to. We may when we run out of uh, eggshell and stuff, but... That's cool. Critter collar needs to go somewhere. Pride of place in the base. <clears throat> um... I've already been putting a couple things here. Oh, I, the useless machine was supposed to go there. 
Uh, how about we put it in the massage parlor? Right there. And maybe set up another pedestal for later. Yeah, useless machine is supposed to go there. Well, that's cool. Um, <clears throat> I like the idea of going through the story and having a facility like that that we can use endlessly. Almost endlessly. I mean, in exchange for diamond is pretty pricey. But, uh, you know, if you need to get your steel on, you can do that. Critter caller selects. We want that delivered sometime soon, please. Also, um, this is supposed to be picking up rot piles. This thing here is supposed to be picking up rot piles. The fact that we have rotten surf and turf is kind of saddening. Why don't you do it? Do it. Uh, okay. Well, we'll allow manual use and then they can throw it in there. No, you're just going to carry it off? Um, <clears throat> if I set it at priority nine, they're going to always come down here, grab the rot piles. <laughs> and... <laughs> And take it back up and put it into there, so that doesn't make any sense. Um, huh. I guess my efforts to do this automation are just... not gonna do it. I think it may have been because they... Nice fish. It may have been because they uh, already had a job on it, so it couldn't pick it up. That was probably the case. Yeah, you can see now they are... Delivering the rotten surf and turf here, which is again not my intention, but what do you do? Uh, do we have the collar up here yet? No. Sometime soon, I'm hoping. There we are. Player X has displayed the massive critter collar. Uh, the tag reads Molly. On the reverse is designed by B363, stamped above what appears to be an unusually shaped paw print. Well, that's cool. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's episode, folks. I'm going to call it there. Uh, mostly puttering with a little bit of story at the end there. What do you do? It's all good. <clears throat> We're going to get in uh, to do some iron cooling probably in the next episode. And uh, yeah, that's that's just what we were before. Yep, another facility done and another story done. And we'll carry on in the next. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.